I'm Bhavya, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how you can restore from an Amazon Relational Database Service DB snapshot. Let's get started. You can create a DB instance by restoring from an automatic or manual snapshot. You cannot restore from a DB snapshot to an existing DB instance because a new DB instance is created when you restore a DB snapshot. When you restore a DB instance, the default security group is associated with the restored instance by default. And the option group and the parameter group associated with the DB snapshot are associated with the restored DB instance after it is created. You can change these settings after the instance is restored. Let's go through the process of restoring a snapshot. Log into the account and open the AWS RDS console in the same AWS region as the DB snapshot. Choose snapshots from the navigation pane. Choose the snapshot that you want to restore. This can be an automated or a manual snapshot. In this case, I'll use the prod backup snapshot. From the actions drop down menu, choose restore snapshot. Specify the DB instance identifier. This will create the instance endpoint that you will connect to. In this case, I'll call mine restore test. Select the VPC where you want to restore the instance to. Choose the subnet group with a minimum of two subnets. Select your choice to make the restored instance publicly accessible. If you select yes, it will be accessible from the internet. Select the security groups which you would like to use for your restored instance. I will keep it default. Change the database port if required. You only need to do this if you want to use the other database port. Specify the DB instance class that you require. You can change this later. Change the storage type for the restored instance if required. However, Note that this will affect the time it takes for the instance to restore. Select if you want a multi-AZ deployment. Multi-AZ deployment provide higher availability to your instance by launching a secondary instance to failover to if the primary instance becomes unavailable. Select the availability zone preference that you want for this restored instance. Choose the database authentication option. You can choose the IAM option if you authenticate using a database password and user credentials through AWS Identity and Access Management Users and Roles. I will keep it password only. Choose the parameter group and option group that you would want to use with the RDS instance. By default, the restored instance will use the same parameter and option group that was attached with the instance that's been restored. You can select the log files to publish the logs to the Amazon CloudWatch log for long-term retention. In this case, I will enable only error logs. Select if you want to enable auto minor version upgrades for your restored instance. Enabling auto minor version upgrade will automatically upgrade to a new minor versions as they are released. The automatic upgrades occur during the maintenance window for your database. Choose Restore DB Instance. After the instance is restored and available, you can modify the parameter group and option group. Because my instance is still creating, I will show it an available instance on how to modify the parameter, option, and security group. Select the instance and choose Modify on the right of the console screen. Here you can choose the required security group with the appropriate inbound and outbound rules for your instance. In this case, I will choose RDS Launch Wizard. Choose the parameter or option group that you require. In this case, I will keep default. Choose Continue and select if you would like to apply this change immediately or apply in the next maintenance window. If you select immediately, then the instance will be modified immediately. Otherwise, the changes will be applied during the next maintenance window. Confirm the changes that you want to apply are correct and then choose Modify DB Instance. Add 
As you can see, the restored test instance is now restored and available for access. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.